In our project economy, uh, plane tickets could, the prices could be on their way down, could. Frequent flyers could start seeing some pretty cheap airfare thanks to dropping oil prices. Action News reporter Gary Nuremberg has more from our Washington News. Well, Dan and Aaron, airlines are paying about a third less for aviation fuel now than they did at the beginning of the year, and that could be good news for flyers, but it turns out some of the biggest savings are still on the ground. Tom Alderman often flies between Vermont and Washington, D.C. We could usually count on it being around 600 plus, and uh, this trip was uh, around four. Travelers are starting to see some remarkable fares. Round trip, Chicago to Boston, $80. New York to L.A., round trip, $150. How much money did you save today? Uh, pro normally, from when I go to Fort Lauderdale, I save probably $150. Lower fuel costs give airlines more flexibility in pricing. But Douglas Kidd of the National Association of Airline Passengers says, don't get too excited. Don't expect them to last forever and don't expect to see them on all routes. But you can expect to see more certainty on the ground, says Jeff Leonard, whose members sell 80% of the gas in the country. If oil prices hold where they are, Prices could come down considerably at the pump over the next few months. That's awesome. That makes me happy. <laughs> AAA says gas prices are down about a dollar from a year ago, now averaging two fifty one a gallon nationally. Compared to three dollars and above, that is fabulous. And this could get even better when summer driving vacations are over and demand falls. That could mean even lower prices this fall. In Washington, Gary Nuremberg, KSBW Action News 8.